Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Canada has launched a new pathway for digital nomads to be able to come to Canada and work remotely for 6 months or until they can secure a Canadian job offer. The best part is there's no age limit, there's no IELTS test required, there's no ECA required, there's no minimum income level required, and there's no CRS score or point system involved. Moreover, you don't have to register and wait for an ITA. The visa cost is really low and there's a quick processing time of just 28 days. Along with the previously launched Tech Talent strategy, this program has also been introduced to promote Canada as a destination for digital nomads. Since digital nomads only need visitor visa status to relocate to Canada for up to 6 months, you would simply need to enter the country as a visitor. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything about Canada's new digital nomad visa, the complete benefits of this visa, the eligibility criteria, visa validity, all the requirements, your visa and residency options after flying to Canada on a digital nomad visa, the total cost, processing time, and step-by-step -step instructions on how you can apply as well. So do watch the video till the end. Hey guys, this is Jason from Dream Canada. If you're new to the channel, I show people how to save their money and immigrate to new countries through my videos without the help of any immigration consultants or agents or lawyers. You can find all the process instructions for you to apply on your own through this channel. Subscribe now because all the information provided here is completely free and I answer all your queries in the comment section and on my social handles on Instagram and Twitter. So don't forget to follow us there as well. You can even get in touch with us directly via WhatsApp on the number shared on the screen. Let's start with what Canada's new digital nomad visa actually is and why you should apply for it. IRCC has recently introduced the digital nomad visa which enables digital nomads or individuals who can perform their job remotely from anywhere in the world to come to Canada for a period of 6 months and work from there. During this period, if the applicant secures a Canadian job offer, they can then apply for a work permit or their permanent residence as well using the job offer for additional points. Now coming to why you should apply for a digital nomad visa. Firstly, you get a whole 6 months to search for a job in Canada, similar to a job seeker visa. During these 6 months, you'll be free to meet potential employers, give job interviews, and even accept Canadian job offers. Actually, being present in Canada for your job search will give you a huge competitive edge over the other candidates who are applying from their home countries outside Canada. While you're searching for a job, you can work remotely for an employer outside Canada to meet your daily expenses. The processing time, which is 28 days, is really less for this visa as there's no draws or point system involved. There's no minimum income level required for your current job. Moreover, you can even take your dependent family members along like a spouse and child and your spouse can begin working in Canada as well and your child will get a study or visitor permit. Right now, this is the shortest and easiest route to get your Canada PR. Now coming to the benefits of the digital nomad visa, that'll make you want to apply for it right away. There's no age limit. There's no IELTS test required. There's no CRS or point system to follow. There's no ECA required. The processing time is just 28 days. There are no draws or waiting time for ITAs to worry about. You can be in Canada while searching for jobs and be able to attend in-person interviews which will in turn increase your chances of securing a high paying job. Last but not the least, you can easily convert your digital nomad visa to a work permit or even PR after securing your job in Canada. Now coming to the eligibility criteria for the digital nomad visa. While applying, you have to be employed by an employer anywhere outside Canada. Secondly, you must be able to do your job remotely. You need to have enough funds in your bank account to show that you can support yourself and your family while you're in Canada on a digital nomad visa. To increase your visa approval chances, accommodation arrangements with close friends or family in Canada will be an added advantage to basically show that you have connections in Canada. Coming to the cost, the digital nomad visa application fee is just a hundred dollars, and the biometrics fee, like for any other Canadian visa, is eighty-five dollars. Now the documents required: you'll need six months bank statements showing proof of funds, an offer letter, and pay slips from your current company where you're working remotely. a canadian format cv and cover letter work experience letters from previous companies and house lease or other proof of residence for your stay in canada be sure to include relevant keywords according to your job profile and the positions that you are applying for within your documents as if you don't include the right keywords your documents will be discarded by profile screening software that hiring managers and hr teams use if you don't know how to edit your cv and cover letter in the canadian format and to include all the relevant keywords You can get in touch with us via email to get your personalized Canadian CV and cover letter which will of course be a paid service. 
Now that you know all the requirements and benefits, let me tell you the steps to apply for this visa. Step 1 is to check your eligibility. Step 2 is arranging all the documents required. Step 3 is applying for your digital nomad visa which can be done online and I'll add this application page link in the description box below. Step 4 is to submit all your documents during your application and pay your application fee of $100 which will complete your application stage. And lastly, step 5 is getting your visa decision within 28 days and flying to Canada. Alright guys, so that was all about the Digital Nomad Visa. For more immigration and travel tips, subscribe to this channel now. Do like this video if you like the content and comment what topic you would like to hear about next. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe for regular updates on immigration and don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well. I wish you the best of luck for your application and hope you have a great day.